everybody, it's Jen with Cake Tastic Cakes, and once again I'm going to be taking you on a lovely journey through my own personal recipe box. This is not a cake. This is another cookie that I make. It's a cookie that I grew up loving <laughs> so much. I make it for my kids, and this video is technically for my kids, so they can see when they're grown, if they want to make it themselves, how, they do, how I did it, and uh, yeah, they can do it too. And if anyone else is out there likes ginger snaps or we call them spice cookies molasses cookies whatever cookies here you go enjoy guys <laughs> all right you're going to put three quarters of a cup of vegetable shortening i use i used to use crisco but with the price of everything going up 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 i just found some store brand shortening put it in your mixer you're going to add one cup of brown sugar i use a light brown sugar and don't forget to pack it down. Well, brown sugar, you got to pack it down into the measuring device, okay? You're going to add a quarter cup of molasses. This is grandma's molasses, and just like the other recipe I showed you boys, uh, the type of molasses matters. It tastes different, and a quarter cup means I give it a very, very healthy quarter cup because it's delicious is really the only reason. Yes, we love our molasses. I'm going to scrape it out with a spatula there to make sure I get every last little drop. And you're going to see the dogs walking around in the background because, yes, we have pets. I'm doing this in my kitchen. I'm pretty sure the <laughs> that you boys are somewhere in the house, too, They're just waiting, lurking. All right, so once you get it all together, you're going to start to mix it. And it's going to form kind of um, a pretty dark brown paste, dough, whatever you want to call it. And now you're going to add your egg. You're going to only add one egg. And if it's brought to room temperature, that's even better. I'm going to be honest, I don't always. <laughs> so you're not going to ruin these cookies if you don't. Okay, when I'm done mixing that up a little bit, you're going to scrape it down, scrape your sides of your bowl as well. And then just give it another little bit of a mix. Um, maybe in the future, the mixing bowls and the mixers are going to be better. And they're going to scrape the sides really nicely and get down to the bottom. But if not, this is what you got to do. Just give it a little scrape to make sure any of the stuff that's sticking to the bottom gets mixed in evenly. Okay? So yes, just turn it back on. I'm doing this all on the lowest setting too, by the way. I know it looks fast, but I sped up the video because it's kind of boring. And after you give the egg a chance to mix in, you just dump it in. I always crack it into another bowl first in order to make sure there's no eggshells in it. Uh, as you saw, you mix the egg in, you turn it off, scrape it down again just to make sure everything's mixed together once again, and then you keep going. All right, now in a second bowl, what you're going to do is add two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour into your bowl, and then you're going to add two teaspoons of baking soda. This is not baking powder, it's baking soda and two teaspoons. And you see when uh, you pull it out of the box, you kind of scrape it on that flat edge. That way you get a good level amount of baking soda. You put it together in the bowl. Now you're going to add your spices. The recipe, if you pause the video at the beginning, calls for salt. I never add salt to my cookies. Some people do. I just don't. So, you know, that's just what I do. You add one teaspoon of ginger. That was actually two, two, two half teaspoons that I did there. And one teaspoon of cinnamon, so a teaspoon of ground ginger, teaspoon of cinnamon, and then you're going to add a half teaspoon of ground cloves. And this is why, if you look at my recipe card at the very beginning of this video, I have them labeled as spice cookies. They're very, they're just spicy. There's the dog again. And so, yeah, I think they're technically ginger snaps, like I said, because they are, they're just so good. Anyway. Take your dry ingredients, whisk them together so they're all mixed together nice and even. Turn your mixer back on, all that nice creamed up sugar and egg. Now you're going to very gently and gradually add your flour into your bowl. And you're going to want to do it gently because it's going to toss the flour all over the counter if you don't. <laughs> it's really the only thing. It's going to shoot it all over the place and then you're going to have your measurements off and that's not good. So again, this is the lowest setting on my mixer. And you just let it mix together. And at this point, you've got a delicious cookie batter. It's, it's good. I will admit that there might be some eating of this cookie batter raw. Now, once again, you're going to turn it off, kind of scrape it down. 
and you can kind of see that it's really thick. It's really thick and I almost want to say it's dry. It forms a very nice dough, but it's not like a real creamy kind of a dough, like say chocolate chip cookies. It, it makes a very firm kind of, it reminds me a lot more of like almost a bread dough or something like that. Now, just like before, I am scraping the bowl, or I did scrape the bowl, and you're going to find a lot of flour and seasons or um, spices at the bottom that I've kind of like dried and chunked on. I just do this a little bit with my hand just to kind of press it into whatever is dry and stuck and mix it together, incorporate it just a little bit. It's not like you're kneading dough or anything. So that's it. There you go. All right, here comes the delicious part. You're going to take little bits of the dough and roll them in your hand to make a ball. The ball is going to be no larger, I'd say, than an inch in diameter. And you get a little dish, a little bowl of granulated sugar, just white sugar. And you roll the cookie in it. And you'll make a nice coating on the cookie. And that's it. I press it down a little bit with my fingers, as you may have seen. It doesn't seem to matter as far as baking goes, but you're going to fill up the whole cookie sheet doing that. You're going to take your balls, roll them around in the sugar, and then put them on your cookie sheet. You're going to bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit on, in the middle of your oven for about 10 minutes. I usually set the timer for more like 8 minutes because I always prefer the cookies be a little softer than a little than overdone. But with ginger snaps, they tend to turn out, you know, crispy and crunchy anyway. Okay, so they were in the oven for about eight minutes. Actually, I think it was more like nine minutes. You can see they're all crackly. You can see they're beautiful. They're cooked so nicely, nice even color. Um, when you take them out of the oven, what I did not show you is you got to let them sit for about three minutes to set on the cookie sheet before you put them on the cooling rack. That second batch that I did, I didn't press down just to show you the difference. They just don't spread out quite as far. That's really the only difference. You could kind of see the size difference a little bit. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you press down on them or just leave them as balls, but there they are. They're delicious. They're spice cookies. Make them for Christmas or whenever you want. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because it helps me out as well. I've got a lot of, other, lot of other videos out there that are cake themed, so be sure to check those out. And as always, thanks for watching Cake Tastic Cakes, and I hope you enjoy these cookies, boys.